In this video, we're gonna go over how to add a header and a footer and a sidebar menu for your app and then navigate between them. This structure makes your app scalable and lets you add pages easily whenever you want to. Here's an example from Google Cloud Platform. This is your sidebar menu that contains all your pages, your header, and that's what we're gonna try to replicate. Now, previously we created a simple React app that just have two pages, one, one home page and an account page. This is the app, this is my home page. I click an account and it will take me to the account page. And then what we're gonna try to create looks like this. This right here is what we're trying to do. This is my website, this is my home page, and I have a header, and I have a footer for my page, just like, a, just like a legit website. Over here I have a side menu that let me navigate between pages. So if I click on account, it takes me to account. And I get the header here as well too. So the question becomes now, how do we turn this skeleton of a web app to having a header and a sidebar and a footer. And for that, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use a framework called Material UI. It's a very popular framework. It makes your app web app looks really great. And it's so simple to use. It's a copy paste code. So the first step would be to go ahead and install this in your React app. To do that, just go to mui.com. And on the main page, you'll see the command to install it right here. Just copy that. And then open a terminal at the root directory of your project and just paste it there and install. And then once that's installed, we can go ahead and start coding. Quick recap over how my code is structured. I'm using React Router DOM to navigate between the pages. My router looks like this. And I'm importing my components here and then I'm placing each page's component in the element parameter to render. And these are the JavaScript files for my components. Let's take a look at home, for example. This is my home code, it's very simple. It just renders an H1 and a link to the account page. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wrap my components in a parent component that's gonna contain the header and the footer and the sidebar menu. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new folder here. And then I'm gonna call it reusables just to organize everything. And then I'm gonna create a new JavaScript file to contain that container. The code for my container is gonna be nothing fancy. I'm gonna start with just a basic React component code structure that looks like this. And then I'm gonna create a method that returns the header component. It's gonna be very basic, just h1 that says header. And then I'm gonna copy the same for the footer. I'm just gonna rename everything to footer here. Then I'm gonna place these two right here in my render method, just like this. Now I wanna structure my app in a way that my page will sit right here between the header and the footer. So over here, I'm gonna create a div that will contain that page. And then to create what I'm gonna call a slot for the page, I'm gonna add here this probes children. And then my views are gonna be placed here. Let's go ahead and use this container and see how it looks like. I'm gonna go back to my index JavaScript file and then I'm gonna import my container right here. Then I'm gonna wrap my pages with that container by just taking my pages component and then placing it inside the container like this. Let's do the same thing for account. Now let's see how that looks like. You can see now in my web app that the header and the footer are always showing up now with any page. Now we just gotta make them look like actual web components. All right, we're back. Don't mind the haircut or the headphones. I'm trying out the ear pods because the microphone is not the best. Hopefully the voice quality is better now. Okay, so we were going to make our header and footer look better than this. This is nothing right now. And to see how we're gonna do that, we're gonna go back to the Material UI website, and then we're gonna go to the docs, and then we're gonna go to the components. And then this framework has this component called app bar that will let us create a beautiful header for our website. This is the app bar component. Here is a basic example of the app bar. When you click to see the code, you're gonna see a lot of stuff in here that might be confusing at first, but we're just gonna take the basic thing, which is just the app bar component and the toolbar component and implement it in our app. So back to our container. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna just import the things that you're gonna need to use for now. And then we gotta go ahead and implement it in our header. And that would look like this. Let's see the result. Cool, now our header looks much nicer. The button doesn't do anything yet. My homepage is right here in the middle still, and this is the footer. So now let's fix the footer. Let's go take a look at the footer method. For, for the footer, you don't need anything fancy. Let's just change this to a toolbar and give it some height and background color. So then let's see how that looks like. So it's right here because the homepage is small and doesn't have any content. To fix that, let's go back to our render function. Here, I'm back to the render function. Over here, I'm just gonna add a height 
for my view. I'm gonna set my view height to be the full page by 70 to 100 the edge. Let's see how that looks like. Cool, now the page layout makes more sense. But back to the footer, I wanna add more content here. I wanna add links to other pages in the footer. So let's go back to the footer method. Back to the footer method. Instead of having a header component here, I'm gonna remove this. And then I'm gonna replace it with a list of links. An order, this is an ordered list of links. This is a link to home page and this is a link to account page. Save this and see the result. Back to the web app. The links look good. If I click on this, it will take you to the account page. If I click on home, it will take you to the home page. Cool. So that's for the footer. We're done with the footer. Footer is done, the header is done, and now we're gonna do the most important part in this web app, which is the sidebar menu. It's gonna have buttons inside it that lets us navigate between the pages conveniently. To create that, we're gonna go back to using Material UI again. Back to Material UI. Material UI has this component called Drawer right here. This is the Drawer component. This is the component that's gonna let you create that sidebar menu. Here's the demo of it. You click on left, it's gonna show up from the left side. Very cool, that's what we're gonna create. This is the code, but in my opinion, this is too much and confusing. We're gonna try to simplify that, make it much more simple than this. But we will need from here the drawer component, list item, and list item text. Back to the code. Of course, like always, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna import those components. Then you need to add a state over here that will control whether that menu is open or not. I'm gonna call it menu open and I'm gonna set it initially to false. Now I'll make it such that when the user clicks on this button over here it will set that state variable to true and open the sidebar menu. Let's go back to the code. We're back to the code. Here under our header component we're gonna go to that icon button from before and over here we're just gonna add this line which just says when the user clicks on the icon button it changes the menu open state variable to true. Now we actually need to create the method that's gonna render that sidebar and this is it right here. I'm gonna have it return the drawer and I need to use that state variable that I just implemented in that drawer. So I will just set the open parameter to this state menu open. So when menu open is true, this drawer is gonna appear. When it's false, it's gonna disappear. Now I need to fill it up with items. And for that, we're gonna use the list item and list item text components that we imported earlier, like this. This one is for home. I'm gonna also create another one for account. Now the last step, we need to actually render this sidebar. So take that sidebar method, go to your render method over here, and just place the sidebar method anywhere in here. I'll just put it on the top. Now let's run this and see what happens. Back to the web app. And we're back here in the web app. I click on the menu button and here's my menu. But if I click outside the menu, nothing happened. It doesn't close. Back to the code. Here, all we need to do is to just add this line. What this line would do is that it will set the menu open variable to false and close the sidebar menu. Let's try it out. Back to the web app. We're back here in the web app. Open the menu, click outside, close the menu, perfect. However, the buttons that we put here are useless, they don't do anything. So let's actually make them useful and, and have them navigate to their respective pages when you click on them. Back to the code. We're back here at the code. First thing I need to do is I need to create a navigator method. I'm just gonna create it right here above return. And I'm gonna call it navigate to page. And I'm just gonna take one parameter called destination. And then all it will do is that it will changes the URL of the page to that destination. Now we need to make it such that the user clicks on one of the buttons, it will call that method and it will supply the destination and change the page. For the home page button, we're just gonna add this line. What this does is that when the user clicks on this button, it will, it will call this method and supply this destination, which is home. And then I'm gonna just do the same for the account button. Now let's run this and see what happens. Back to the web app. We're back here at the web app, so let's try it out. Open the menu, click on account, take them to the account page. Open the menu again, clicks on home, takes it to the home page. And that's the sidebar menu, we're done here. So that's it, that's how you can create a neat uh, header and a sidebar menu for your app, along with a footer as well. And I really encourage you to go here to the Material UI website, mui.com, and explore the different components that they have and play around with them and add them to your page. They have a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, they have a component for everything that will make your life easier and make your app look better. So that's it. If you have any comments, let me know in the comment section. If you'd like access to the full source code of this React project, subscribe to my Patreon. That's where I post the source code for all of my videos and it supports the channel as well. So see you later. Bye-bye.